In this video, we'll be improving the illumination of our scene by adding the external lamps. And the first one on our list will be the sun lamp. So I'm pressing Shift A, going to the light submenu here and selecting a sun lamp. You can see it's created in the scene's center. Let's move our gizmo to the active element and more or less this is how the lamp looks. So in difference to any other lamp, it really doesn't matter where you put it, but what really matters is the rotation of the lamp. Let's switch to our camera and enable an extra viewport here, just so we have a better look on what's happening. And let's activate a rendered view. As you can see, there isn't anything happening, to be honest. So let's try rotating the lamp. And I'm just doing this by pressing the R key. And you might see there is, I think, some light beam visible. Let's now switch to the top view and rotate a lamp into any other direction. Uh, we might need to change its settings, so I'm always clicking this third icon uh, counting downwards. Um, so we can see we, the, the light type is set up to sun and the strength is now set up to one. So just for the test, let's say we switch it to five and rotate a little bit more. So if I narrow down the region preview to this area here and rotate the lamp again, you can now see in real time the shadow is visible in this area. I will decrease the environment um, light back to one so the shadows are even more visible right now. When working with some lamp, um, I would advise switching the orientation, the transformation orientation to normal. So now, depending on how you have rotated the lamp, when you when we enable this mixed gizmo here or the rotation gizmo only, you are able to change the angle of the sun uh, accordingly to the Z axis rotation. So if I rotate the sun this way, I can now change its angle uh, using this green circle here but I think leaving it like this is something we are looking for right now so I'm gonna increase the preview a little bit more switch to the side view here and increase the angle and let's now simply freely look around the scene I'm gonna increase the preview And we can see, actually, there is something similar happening around this area to what we had visible in the reference. The problem is shadow is way too soft. In order to change that, we now go back to the sun lamp settings and you can see the size of the lamp can be defined here. If I set it up to one, now the shadow is basically gone completely. If I set it up to zero, now it's super, super sharp. So let's use a value of, let's say, 0.1, just to see how it looks. Well, I think it, it looks pretty, pretty interesting, to be honest. Um, I also think the angle here is quite nice. Let's just get back to our main camera and see if we can work on the shadows here just a little bit more. With my lamp selected, I will enable the panel on the right by pressing the N key. And let's try to fix the rotation a little bit. Um, I will maybe use some different values here. So let's say something like that. As you can see now, when I rotate the sun lamp, 
When I make it almost horizontal, now the shadows we are looking for are actually coming to life. Uh, let me see how it looks here in the upper part. We can always compare it to the reference as well. So we can see, um, yeah, it might be quite hard to generate exactly the same look, but having at least something similar uh, will be a very good achievement in my opinion. So let's say, let's actually leave it like that maybe. I'm not super sure about this uh, very dark shadow on top. So I'm using this value here to rotate my sun in the Z axis, but it doesn't really change that much to be honest. Let's just keep it like this, almost horizontal, so it's minus 85 degrees. And we will work on this shadow later, trying uh, to add another additional light sources and seeing how it goes from there. So you can also see the sun lamp uh, increase the highlights in this area. Um, so let's try changing it a little bit. It's obviously caused by the unfinished shaders as well. But yeah, maybe we should go back to minus 80. Let's unhide everything just to see how it looks with uh, all these staircase elements available. Let's compare it to the reference. So we can also see there is this brighter area here and here except of this image, uh, this area, because we still didn't apply the glass shader. But when I hide this object, we can see it kind of looks the same, to be honest. Maybe it's a bit too strong, but still, we will fine tune all of those details later. A short note before we jump into adding the area lamps, you can also use a black body node for your sun lamp. So let's set up two separate node editors here just for this example. And I will set up a world node setup here and object node setup here. So you can see this is the emission node for our light output. This is our background node for the world output. So for the lamp, we can also go to the converter and black body. And when I plug it in here, you can see this very interesting effect happening in our scene. So by playing around with those black body colors, we can actually create very interesting illumination scenarios in both interior and exterior scenes. For our case, we will stick to more toned down colors. So I'm gonna set up the black body for my sun lamp as 6,500. I will go with a, a bit lower strength and I will get back to default settings here, but I just want you to know, you can really adjust the scene look just playing with the physical color temperature, uh, temperature values here. So again, I will get back to the defaults and see you in the next video where I'm gonna add the area lamps. Thank you guys for watching. This video is part of my interior visualization course in Blender, which you can watch for free on YouTube. All the necessary details and link to the full playlist can be found in the video description. If you want to support what I do and access all of the 3D files used in this course, plus Blender ready interior setups and over 2000 Blender exclusive 3D models, just visit the Chocofort store and learn more about our subscription plans. Again, thanks for watching and I see you soon.